In the 1970s, the VW 181 became a phenomenon in the U.S. where it was marketed as the VW thing. There's a crazy new thing from Volkswagen that comes with the top up, with the top down, with the doors on, with the doors off. A car that feels at home wherever you feel at home. A car you can dress up after you get it, to look any way you want it. In this video, we're going to be back on the 1974 Volkswagen Thing project. And I'm going to get the new top on and uh, we're going to put the duck boards in that I just got in, get this thing uh, finished up and get it in the paint. So let's get to it. So let's take a look at the thing here. I'm finishing up the convertible top. I'm going to be going down to the upholstery shop, auto trim specialist here in Denver. Uh, if you're in the Denver area, they're fantastic. Quite the operation. I'll show some video here in a minute. but. Uh, I got the convertible top. I could have mounted it myself, but uh, I figured I'm gonna have my buddy, uh, Arthur, go ahead and do it. Uh, it pretty much just mounts across the top frame here. Holster shop and uh, pick up the top for this, and then uh, we'll test fit it, and um, take it off, finish the blocking and sanding, and get it into paint. So here we are at Auto Trim Specialist in Denver. Let's go see Arthur, but uh, it's quite the operation. They guys do all kinds of different cars different customs, repairs, that sort of thing. And usually this place is packed. And all the samples and material that they have, just unbelievable. Hey Arthur, how's it going? Good. Just wanted to put you on my YouTube channel. You want to give me a little overview on what you guys do here? We just do full upholstery, uh, convertible tops, full interiors, anything with the upholstery, furniture, boats, airplanes. All right, so you got a kit car back here. Is that a Factory 5 or what is that? You know? uh, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, we're doing the... Uh, doing carpet. We're doing carpet and the wall. The whole inside for him. Sweet. And you do the classics over here too. We so lots of classics. All right, so guys, if you're in the Denver area and you want some really good work, I've been using these guys since probably the 90s on some of my projects, my Cobras and stuff. So. So Arthur, what's the best way for somebody to get in touch with you? Uh, just uh, phone, 303-757-7463. All right, thanks. Thank you. The new top is on. Man, it is looking good. So I got this off of Mike at uh, thingparts.com back in New York. And uh, man, the fit and finish is just really super nice. Been out in the sun uh, to stretch it into place a little bit, but uh, Poster shop, Arthur did a great job on it. Uh, the only place that this attaches to is underneath the front edge, and that's it. So there's no other attachments to the metal framework, as you can see up in here, like most convertibles do. And then it stretches over, and it's got these little belt loops that go into the uh, body. So you can see I'm pulling it out there, and then these little tabs just uh, go in there like that. And then the front, all it does is have two latches right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And uh, the top lifts off. So very simple to uh, take the top down or even take it off. And the only thing that holds it on is two little pins right here. Right there with a keeper pin. Well, one on either side. That's pretty much it. And you just pull down over the belt loop tab in and it is done. So the next thing is the duck boards and uh, thinkparts.com has them and I'll put the link in the description to their website and it's basically made out of oak, oak slats uh, with some screws and glued and uh, they just go in the front for the floorboards and two in the rear. The duck boards got their name from World War One, I, I suppose with the trench warfare and I'll put a little picture here for you. But uh, too many of the troops were getting trench foot, I guess, for their feet getting wet when they were digging the ditches. So they made like wooden slats to try to shine a little water away and keep their feet dry. So that's where a duckboard came from. And the Volkswagen thing is designed after the uh, military vehicle in Germany um, called the Kubelwagen. And the Kubelwagen uh, also troops wanted to keep their feet dry, so they incorporated 
World War One type trench boards called duck boards. So uh, pretty cool. It's the only car that I know, probably in the United States, I know my Jeep doesn't have them and there might be some other off-road vehicles that have that sort of thing. So, so let's take and I'll show you how it goes in. It just sits in, just replaces the floor mat with wood. And they really look cool when they're installed. So another finishing touch for this car. Just go in here like that. And that's pretty much it. Very slick. And then there's the driver's side in. And then I've got the smaller ones for the rear. Right there. So the thing has duck boards now. Hopefully the next time you're going to see it, I'm going to break everything down, do the final block of sanding, get it in the paint. And next time you'll see it, hopefully I'm um, putting it back together again after the paint's on it. But uh, please like and share and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate everybody that has subscribed. I'm scratching on 2,000 subscribers now, which I really appreciate everybody's support to the channel. And uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for watching.